In this video, I'm going to show you how to take any rasterized image like this one or this one and turn it into a Pantone color, spot color, just a, a separation. So the method I like to do is going through Photoshop. So I'll open my image in Photoshop, go to image, mode, grayscale. Go ahead and discard any information. So why I like to use this method is because it changes it to grayscale and then I can adjust my contrast. So think of anything black is going to be as solid as you can go on the Pantone color and anything less than 100% black is going to be uh, a screen of that color. So I'll come in here, use a levels adjustment and adjust to where I think it's going to look pretty good. So, um, so you can see before right there, all of this is going to be a screen. Um, whereas now if I use this levels adjustment that I put on here, I've got a lot more contrast in here and I'm going to get, uh, I'll still get a screen in there, but I'll get a deeper, richer color on all those. So, uh, with that layers adjustment, I'll go ahead and save as just a JPEG file call it logo. That's great. Close that down. So if I take logo.jpg, drop that in here into InDesign, I can use my direct select tool, select a directly onto the image itself, and then select a Pantone color and boom. Now it's that Pantone color. You could also use CMYK values if you really wanted to do any CMYK values. And this is because the, the image file is a grayscale image. Anytime you take a grayscale image into anything, uh, you can apply these effects to it. You can just give it a Pantone color. So not necessarily the best way of doing this. Obviously you want to get vector files that have Pantones built into them already, but this is a great way of getting around that sometimes. So we'll do it again with this face image. So I've got this face. We'll go image mode grayscale. That looks pretty good right there already. So I will file save as face BW for black and white. Since I've already got one in there saved as uh, face.jpg. Um, drop this face in here like that. Again, boom. Whoops. See, look at that. What happened here? I added the Pantone color to the actual object itself. So the image frame right here, you can see has that in it. So that the fill on that needs to be, um, empty right there. No fill on that. You need to use the direct select tool, click on the actual image. And now we're directly selected on the image and then you can change it to a Pantone color uh, or CMYK or whatever values you want. This is super useful if you have to print something out on plates or whatever. Uh, just know there's a ton of different ways to turn things into grayscale. I believe you can do it through InDesign. You could do it through Illustrator. All of these have the options. I just find that Photoshop gives me the most um, customizability and, and a refinement on how much contrast I get in each image that I turn to black and white. So that is how you turn a rasterized image into a Pantone color. Hope that helps.